Good morning, my name is Matthew Stones. I work at Axel Technologies and today I'm making a short video showing how to configure an Axel ThinkLine terminal to connect to a VDI in a box environment. So I'll show a, a quick overview of the screenshots of the server, uh, then I'll move on to the terminal's configuration itself. So I have a very standard uh, base configuration here. Everything is on one physical Windows 2012 server running Hyper-V and if I go into the Hyper-V console all that we have running is the VDI manager down here and three virtual machines which the, which the VDI manager spawned off. Going back to the console I began with one image of Windows 7. From that I created three templates. I have a couple of users configured, Administrator and Matt Stones. And um, well at the moment I'm logged in with a terminal so we can see under user sessions uh, Matt Stones is logged in uh, running template 1, server IP address, the virtual machine name, VDI 003 the terminal's IP address and when I logged in and if you go into user sessions sorry go into summary we can also see that there is one instance of template one in use so uh, I, I'm not here really here to talk about the actual server side so I'll now pan the camera around and we'll look at the actual terminal today I'm connecting with a Axel model 80 thin client terminal uh, this device supports various thin client environments, um, namely Citrix, Zen App, Zen Desktop and Storefront, and also RDS and RDP. We also support various derivative environments, in which we would class VDI in a box as a derivative of Citrix, and VMware View or VMware Horizon as a derivative of RDP. So I'll put the terminal back to factory defaults and configure it to connect to the VDI in a box environment. So from factory defaults, I'll quickly run through the configuration required to connect to the VDI environment. So the keyboard, I will select English. The terminal's name, I will leave as its default. Remote control, I will enable the remote control VNC server. The resolution and color depth, I will leave as is. I will leave DHCP enabled. The session type will be Citrix receiver. The connection type will be VDI in a box and the server URL or IP address of the VDI manager is in my case 192.168.1.98 Next, no printers connected, no memory sticks connected. Next. So we're now rebooting. We'll see the terminal doing its DHCP in a moment. So down here it's now running DHCP to get an IP address. We're booting in real time. There's no editing here, so this is how long it, it takes to actually boot up. So we've now connected to the VDI in a box broker and it's asking for me to log in. I've configured the user Matt Stones to have either or any of the three templates available. So I will pick off one of them and we're now connecting to that virtual machine. And that is all there is to it. So there is one setting to be made just to point the terminal at the VDI in a box environment. Um, and that is it. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact your local Axel office or contact Axel Direct and our details will follow on the screen after the video. Thank you very much and bye for now.